Following an invasion of some farmlands at Ribiase in the Kweu East district of the eastern region, a 13-member committee has been set up by parliament to look into the matter. The team is to investigate allegations of criminal activity in the country by headsmen believed to be of Fulani descent. Salome Tete reports. Fulani headsmen are alleged to be destroying plantations, polluting streams, raping women and also involved in armed robbery. In this current incident, 13 Fulani headsmen have been reported dead, while 11 are said to be injured in Gushegu. Parliament therefore set up the committee to investigate these allegations. The team was reminded to be circumspect in dealing with the issue. The activities of these headsmen poses a challenge to the very existence of our people and their rights. And so, as representatives of the people, it is important that we do address that. But in doing so, we should do so in the appropriate context. First, that they are Ghanaians of Fulani descent. Because as an independence, the citizenship, the law defined a Ghanaian to be anybody of West African descent who was resident in Ghana at the time. We shouldn't consider any Fulani, every Fulani, to be a non Ghanaian. Whereas all of us admit that we would never tolerate. Be you a Ghanaian or a non Ghanaian, crime is a crime. And you'll be dealt with once everybody is convinced or you are caught committing a crime. We need to be very conscious and signal our people their utterances and generalizing and the tendency to criminalize a tribe. Madam Speaker, it is very, very, very serious because the more we try to do this by our citizenry, we put other citizens of Ghana, outside Ghana, in danger. I really have my doubts if all the people who are moving these cattle are full of this. And I believe that the terminology should reflect nomadic henchmen because of the nature of what they engage in. The MP for Laura Nandom, Ambrose Derry, appealed to traditional authorities and state institutions to ensure that the rule of law be maintained at all times. It shouldn't be the case that the rule of law ceases to exist in Ghana. If there are challenges with illegal activities of herdsmen, the police exist, the normal state institutions exist, and they should deal with cases on a case-by-case -case basis, continue to arrest suspects, take statements for them, and therefore make it unnecessary for individual citizens to take the law into their own hands. Three papers were also laid before the House. These are the annual budget estimate for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Women and Children's Affairs, and the Ministry of Communications for the year 2012. Sitting continues tomorrow. Salmetete GTV News, Parliament House, Accra.